For now, though, let's take you live to the Northwest. The Action SA Northwest Chairperson, Josi Gwena Mangope, says his aim is to revitalize the economy and create jobs for the people of the Northwest. He says since the dawn of democracy, the, North, the Northwest rather, has nothing new to show for improving the lives of people. Bafedile Mwerane has been following developments there for us, and she joins us for an update in terms of what more we heard from him. Bafedile? Well, um, due to the Action SA has officially launched the, the um, um, Action SA branch in the Northwest, and it's going to be led by the chairperson, Kosikwena Mangope. He is the son of the former Bukutetswana president, Lucas Mangope. He has also um, emphasized in particular to say that he wants to see the lives of the people of the Northwest develop developed and he's saying that since democracy there's nothing that you can show where his father has left to say that um, the, the, the new government has bettered and instead he's saying that the monies or the things that his father have built for this particular people of the Northwest um, are unaccounted for but let's get more details from him as to what exactly is he intending to do for the people of the Northwest. Kosi, thank you so much for joining us at Newsroom thank Africa. You, thank you. you have emphasized a lot about the legacy your, your father, are you telling us that you want to resuscitate or revitalize it through Action SA now? Well, indeed, yes, I want to revitalize that because I believe that is what will give our people jobs, our self worth, and also generally to develop this province which I'm the chair of uh, for in Action SA. A lot of things has happened that indeed one would want to, doesn't want to enumerate, but there has been a lot of things that went wrong in this province. If I were to say to you that it is unfortunate that the government in the Northwest is under administration, and that in itself impacts on service, service delivery. Most of the people, like in the rest of the country, are unemployed and we need to address that as a matter of agency because otherwise as I said in my speech this is a this is a, 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 a time bomb and this needs to be addressed you have, you emphasized a lot on the the economy in particular of Mahikeng you you told us that you remember your father uh, at some point said he wants to build a city out of Mahikeng uh, where there were a lot of uh, firms where people got uh, job opportunities but today you are saying that all has vanished how are you intending to do that through Action SA? Well through Action SA what we want to do we want to make the environment uh, conducive for investors to come back and invest. It's not only in Mahikeng. You go to Mukwase, you go to Babelehi, you go to Harankua. Those were uh, uh, industries which employed thousands and thousands of people. People literally walked to work. But if you go to those uh, in, in the industries now, almost all of them are shut, if not no longer in, and no longer in existence. So I think that is the most important thing that one needs to look at and to invite uh, investors by having a conducive environment through which investors can come back and, and start uh, businesses of that nature. Lastly, Kosi, I want you to touch on the issue of the D account. We know that D account is the money, uh, the, the account that was created by Kosi Lucas Mangope back then for the royalties of various communities to be invested there. And we understand the matter has been investigated by the public protector after uh, the monies were lost. How? Nobody knows. You touched on that. You also touched on Sun City. What, what, what's your main concern regarding these two things? Well. It's not only my main concern about the D account. The, 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 the Hossi, prior to COVID-19 hitting the shores of this country, had a discussion over how this account should be uh, uh, administered. And the feeling was that all uh, the money that is due to communities should go back to the communities and be uh, administered by the respective communities uh, proceed from one village to the other that, that was the mood uh, that was the mood of 
the discussion. But I'm hoping that this discussion will be resumed so that this issue of the D account should be resolved once and for all. With regard to the 167 million that I'm talking about, I don't know what the report is currently, uh, what, is going, what action is going to be taken, but as far as I know, no action has been taken yet with regards to those who are found uh, wanting in regards to the accountability of this money, in accounting for the money. Thanks a lot, Hossi. That's Hossi Kwedamangope. He is the chairperson of Action SA in the Northwest, and it was the structure was launched today um, where we saw the party president there, Dudu Hemen Mashaba, being part of this particular event here in the Northwest capital, Mahikeng. And he has alluded on a number of issues, um, you know, including the issues of infrastructure in the Northwest, saying that he's intending to help resuscitate the status and the situation in particular of the Northwest capital to better eat for the people of the Northwest and also to create a good space or environment for the economy and also to ensure that people of the Northwest benefit come 2024 local, uh, actually the national elections do. Thank you very much for that update.